ninth graders, this is Ms. Ludula speaking to you from Wellmore, that's the library. Um, I, I've been going over some stuff very fast with you in classes, and I thought it might be helpful if we had a little tutorial to kind of review some of that stuff. Um, as you're preparing your bibliographies for Are You What You Eat, this might be a little bit helpful. So we're going to start at um, New Canaan High School Library website. We're going to click on the online catalog. And we're already logged in. You'll see that Imaginary Student is all logged in. This is a fairly long tutorial, and I felt it would be better if we went kind of fast. We are not going to do a library search right now. Instead, we're going to go straight to the resource list, because I think you understand the principles behind library searching. What we want to do now is focus on how to take a resource list and convert it into a meaningful, relevant bibliography that will get you earn you points rather than cost you points. Um, so here we are in the Are You What You Eat bibliography. You can see that we have different kinds of resources. These are all books, because you can see there's an icon of a book. But then comes this weird thing, and I need to change this icon. I haven't done it yet, of a disk. It's a floppy disk. You guys probably don't even remember what floppy disks are. Um, basically, it's a website. And this is a link to a New York Times article. So if we follow that link, and we scroll down, and we follow this link, and go straight here. Here we are at the New York Times article from 2008 that we thought was so relevant for this project that we actually copied the link and imported it into the online catalog. Now let's go back to the Are You What You Eat list, and you'll see that you have two additional sources that are ebooks. So we'll look at, let's take a look here, and we're going to click on this link to access the actual online book. And we're going to type in food culture. And go. And here we have 10 leisure time, space, and consumption. And if you scroll down, you can see that they've highlighted all the instances of food and culture. And if you get down far enough, there's actually a section called food, food and popular culture. So then you need to know how to cite that. And that would be here. And it shows you we always choose MLA. So that's what you would copy. And you would paste into a Word document by going to Edit, Paste Special, and choose Unformatted Text. And there you are. Let's go back to our list. And we're going to go back. So we also have countries and their cultures. And this has another link that we're going to follow. And this will take you to the ebook country and their cultures. This is a part of a four volume encyclopedia. Um, and each country is represented in here. And within that, we can search again. So we're going to type in the word China here. And it takes you to the section on China in countries and their cultures, which is great. But now we have this very, very long article. You can see how small our scroll bar is. It's very long. So how do you find the information about food? You'd hold down the control if you're on a Windows, or command if you're on a Mac computer, and you type the letter F. And that brings up a little window, depending on what browser you're in. Um, Explorer, it's going to be in the middle of the screen. Here in Firefox, it's down on the lower left-hand corner. We're going to type in the word food. And look what it did. It brought us straight to the section that is all about food and the economy. Again, if you want to cite this, all you have to do is scroll up to the top and choose Citation Tools. And you're going to choose MLA 7 and save it. And you can open it. There it is in very small, bizarre letters. So we're going to copy that, our Word document that we had opened up earlier. But we're going to go to Paste, Special, and we're going to choose Unformatted. And there it is. Now let's go back to our original list. We've addressed the online resources. Now we're going to create the bibliography out of this whole list. And we click Bibliography. And then we change this to Author Title. I think you got this part from class. And now we have this bibliography. So we're going to copy all of this, paste it into that same mess of a Word document by going to Paste Special and Unformatted Text. And here we go. It's all kicked all over the place. And now we have to do the cleanup. Suffice it to say that this is pretty much how you clean it up. And this is what it's supposed to look like when you're done. Both these PDFs are available in the 
Library Moodle Quarter 1 under the Are You What You Eat block. I do want to show you some of the shortcuts I've shown you in class. When you first look at this page, you'll notice that I've highlighted all of the book titles already. And you may be wondering, how does she do that? Because normally what most students do is they hold down the Shift button when they want to highlight more than one thing at the same time. But that, what that would do is highlight everything. But instead, what I've done is I've held down the Command button on a Mac or the Control button on a window, and I've highlighted specific parts of this text. And that allows me to select just the titles so that I can work on those first. Clearly, we have some work to do here, because the titles of these articles must be italicized rather than underlined. So we're going to uncheck the underline, and instead we're going to italicize them, which would be Control or Command I. And then we are going to change the case of the first letter in each word. And that would be really time consuming if you had to do it individually. But I'm going to show you a trick that really makes it easier. If you hold down the Shift key and the F3 key, it changes it to all caps. But if you do it again, it changes it to all lowercase. And if you do it again, it changes it to title case. If you have a laptop, this trick will not work unless you hold down the function key, or FN. We had to add the word print here, and web here, and web here, and web here, web here, and print, and print, and print. So you can see there's a pattern. If we retrieve the source online, we write the word web, and we do it before the date we accessed it. And if it is an actual book, we write the word print after the citation. Now, Destiny has done an upgrade, and they've fixed this problem. But we have not done the upgrade to the new Destiny product. So we have not fixed it for ourselves. So we're still working in the old format. There will be a time when you will log into Destiny, and it will make a bibliography without having to do all of this. You're always going to have to change the case to title case, because that's probably a fairly permanent problem within our own system. All right, now we have a couple of formatting issues to resolve. We're going to make hanging indents, and we'd start that by putting our cursor over the bottom of the ruler on the left-hand side, and it says left indent. If you do not have your ruler, do not panic. Go to View and click the box where it says Ruler. You put a check in there, and then you can go back to, to, view, to, to Home. Um, the newer versions of Office don't necessarily default to showing a ruler. Without clicking, I'm going to slide my mouse up to the middle of the hourglass. And if you just saw that, it changed from left indent to hanging indent. Now I click and drag to the right, to the 1 half inch mark. And I just reformatted my bibliography to create hanging indents. Now I want to double space it. Now, because I like keyboard commands, I'm going to hold down the Command or the Control on Windows button and type the number 2. And that will double space it. So we've done a nice job formatting this bibliography. As you can see, it resembles this one. And that's what we're after. I want to reiterate that there are samples of corrected and incorrect bibliography in the Are You What You Eat block on the library Moodle, right at the top of the block. And remember that Are You What You Eat starts with the letter R followed by the letter U and a space in between. So that's almost it. There's only one more thing I would like to show you, that if you want to email this, you may. And you click Email This List and Go. And you can send it to somebody else. And you can put in the email address, and you can include a message. And that's a great tool for sharing these resources. Or you can choose a specific book, and you can recommend it to a student. I'm going to recommend it to Mrs. Browner. And we can go back to our list. That pretty much sums up our review of what we've been covering in class. And I hope you find it helpful. Feel free to email us if you have any questions by clicking on this link here at nchslmc.org. Thank you.